Right, so I'm going to show you next um, how I installed this gorgeous unit and how to do the bald cap method uh, with a wig cap. So rather than just putting the wig cap on your head, tucking your hair out the way, cutting your lace and then you're good to go, um, you can do this, this other method. It's been demonstrated a million times on YouTube. Um, probably a lot better than I can show you, but if you want to watch me do it, then you came to the right place. So why would I use the bald cap method? It looks a lot more polished and seamless, as some people would say. Um, it makes your hairline a lot less clockable. If I was going to the cinema, or I was going somewhere where people aren't really gonna see me, then, you know, I would just put a wig cap on, put my wig on, glue my edges down and off I'd go. If I was going out for the evening or for the day and I was likely to be talking to people, you know, people were going to be seeing me potentially up close, then yeah, I would do the bald cap method. Uh, it's also good, it's favoured a lot by people who sleep in their wigs and wear them for several days at a time. Um, I, I can't do that, I don't know why, it just drives me absolutely bananas. I don't know if it's because I sleep on my back and if... If there feels to be any kind of bump or, or anything at the back of my head, I just, oh, I just want to rip it off. <laughs> I wish I could sleep in it because, you know, I go to a lot of faff to, um, to get it looking nice and then to just take it off at the end of the day, you know, it seems like a waste. But, um, yeah, so it, it, it's good for that. Um, normally when you have a wig cap, there's like, I don't know why, but there's this thick, uh, dense coloured band around the front. So when you do the, the bald cap way of doing it, you're gluing the wig cap down at the front of your hairline and then you're cutting that band off. Um, so it doesn't look like there isn't this thick, chunky looking band at the front. Um, and when laid under your lace, it looks a lot a lot neater um, and you can't see it through so yeah it makes it look more realistic anyway I'll stop waffling and get on with the video <laughs> okay so you want to get your hair out the way first of all braid it tie it back do whatever you need to do to make it nice and flat stick your wig cap on your head and take your got to be glued spray you're gonna spray that around the perimeter of your hairline and leave it to dry you'll know it's dry when it sets hard Take your hair dryer on a cool setting if you want to speed this up and blast it. Right, now you're good to go. Take your scissors and carefully cut around the edge of your hairline. You don't want to have an accident. You also don't want to chop any of your own hair, so make sure it's well out the way. and just cut off the excess around the back. Oh, hey there, pretty. <laughs> I look like an egg. Add caffeine. And a beautiful wig. This is my EB hair wig. You can see it reviewed in my previous video. She's gone. Okay, so pop your wig on your head and fold back the lace front. Take your got to be glued gel and you're going to apply this on the edge of your wig cap and a little bit on the wig cap as well, but you don't want any of the gel touching your hair. I do naturally have a widow's peak that sticks out a bit, but I'm going to apply the glue just below that. I don't want it tugging on my natural hair. When I'm wearing the wig, you want to apply it in a nice thin layer so that it'll dry as quick as possible, and you want it to dry so that it feels tacky, not so wet that it's going to seep through. Oh, I'm just using the hair dryer to speed this process along like I did before. Add more caffeine. That's pretty much how my day goes. <laughs> Is 
Is it ready? No. Okay. Now when it's nice and tacky, place your wig where you want it to go. Press it down and remove the excess lace. And press, press down all around the edges. Some people use a scarf to, to press down and set the wig in place to really press it on there, but I'm only wearing this for a day, so my hands should be enough to do it. And style. I'm gonna take some mousse Ooh. <laughs> to tame those flyaways that just return hairs on your wig. You're gonna wanna set them down, you don't want them sticking up. Otherwise you look like lightning's about to strike. <laughs> you can use whatever you want to do this as well. You don't have to use mousse, you could use spray, gel, whatever. Trim baby hairs to your liking. You don't have to do this. You can have as little or as much as you like. I just feel it makes it look a little bit more natural. And then the straighteners to really flatten that down on top of my head. And just finish off the ends to make them nice and smooth and sleek. You can see my review, as I said before in my previous video of this, this is the EBE Hair um, 613 wig. And she's gorgeous. And that's pretty much done. Voila.